I'd like to do a little simulation or explanation of what happens when we try to run a wheel tool on material that's too thin. So to start with, this would be material that is thick enough. I'm just using a piece of cardboard here to, to represent material that is a, a reasonable thickness. And so when the machine normally moves the sheet around to punch holes um, in the normal thickness material, the clamps move and the sheet stays nice and flat while we punch those holes. So now if a wheel tool is going to run on this material, let's just put some weight on the sheet here to simulate a wheel tool that provides a little resistance now to the sheet moving. This cardboard that I'm using is thick enough and rigid enough that it still stays flat while it moves. So there's no problem with that. And, and likewise with a wheel tool on real sheet metal, it will stay flat if the metal is thick enough. Now if we switch to material that's real thin, so if I just switch to a piece of paper, now, when the clamps move to punch this thin sheet, to punch normal holes in this thin sheet, uh, it stays flat. That works pretty well still. Now, if we put our resistance on, again, to simulate that wheel tool, now when the clamps try to move, the sheet's not rigid enough to stay flat while we try to do that. So this just doesn't work because the material's too thin and doesn't have enough rigidity. So I think that makes sense as far as, as what's happening there when that material is too thin. Now when it, where's the cutoff point here? We've pretty much decided that around 030 or 0.8, 0.8 millimeters is kind of the cutoff. So material that is thicker than 0.8 or 030, uh, that's pretty good for a wheel tool. When we get thinner than 030, then it gets to be too thin for wheel tools.